Hello, I'm Lewis from the OBD company. Uh, just doing a quick video here on how to do a BDM programming on the CCU here. It's a Bosch EDC 16 CP34 unit. So first step is to take off the case. This is a very quick step video. Um, We've already heated this up, taken the screws out, out the edge, around the edge to expose the actual ECU unit here. And what we're going to do on this unit, we're going to do the BDM programming to take a full read of the ECU. What we want is the EEPROM file uh, because we want to do a mobilizer delete on this. So what we're going to do is start up the program. It's not the vehicle that we're working on. This is Audi Q7, three liter. Like I said, this is a quick step video. Uh, it's not a full how to select which model you're working on. We know it's this one. We do do training courses for this. Uh, if you are interested in learning the ins and outs and the safety procedures of doing this programming. So to read the EEPROM, I'm going to deselect backup and select that I want to read the EEPROM. On this particular ECU, uh, we need this cable, the 144-300-T100, and a BDM adapter. BDM adapter is to slide in to the BDM frame. This is a BDM frame. Connect this uh, cable into here. Make sure that's in nice and tight. And connect the other end of that cable into the programmer. Let's show you here. As you push this in, this connector closes. Make sure that's in nice and tight. The cable's going from here to the laptop. And the last part we need in this connection is power. Alright, so that's it. We've got everything connected up. We've got power light on. We've got the BDM adapter connected up. The last connection is the actual ECU to the adapter. So what I'm going to do, we're going to position this adapter and we're going to try and line it up with the BDM door. What I'm going to do now is just pause the video while I line it up. It's hard to see but it's now all connected up. Them pins are touching them pads, that means we can make programming. So we'll just test we've got it all connected up. You go across to here and press read. That's it. So it's very quick with its reading. It's now reading the EEPROM off. It's pulled the VIN number here. What you're going to do then, you're going to save this EEPROM file down. Preferably you want to save it under the reg number. And press save. So we've already got this file tuned uh, for the immobilizer off. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and write that on. So we're going to restore the EEPROM file. So select write. 
and find the file that we need to write to it. So tuned files, Audi, and it's the immobilizer off file. Click open. There has been a lot of steps missed uh, in this safety things that has already been done before taking this video, uh, like comparing the file size between the original and then tuned, and making sure that's identical, um, and a lot of other things. There's a lot of safety procedures that you should follow. Um, so if you are interested in doing it correctly and having a full understanding of programming, uh, we cover BDM programming, which is this type, uh, many other types of programming, soldering, uh, so soldering in boot wires for tricor vehicles, where you need to solder certain points on the board. Uh, it's not just classroom-based learning. We do it in uh, practical, practical and classroom. So if you are interested in attending one of our training courses, we do EC remapping training courses, auto locksmith training courses, uh, give us a call on 079 uh, if you're from the UK. If you're not, you could drop us an email to office at the OBD company .co .uk. or turn to the Philly, uh, visit our website all the course content and the tools that we offer are on there so that's the obd company.co.uk that's the obd company.co.uk thank you